I'm Antoine Kotzi. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Exoscale. Hi, I'm uh, Matthias. I'm the CEO of Exoscale. I'm Pierre Richard. Uh, I'm CTO and co-founder at Exoscale. We were both from the, having a past in the telco industry, having a, run data centers at scale and also face the issues of those setups. So we set out to build something that was halfway between what previous hyperscalers had done, like Amazon Web Services, and what was found on the market, like traditional hosting or colocation. And we wanted to be right at the middle, um, serving the um, application developers, which was a booming market back then. Ten years uh, down the line, we're still at it and going strong. It's not so much the idea of uh, uh, starting a, a company that drove us, but rather uh, the need for a, a new product we saw, uh, which lit the spark. The moment when we learned that one of our data centers, which was a, a bunker in the Swiss mountains, was about to close, and that we had to relocate all the customer workloads to another data center. So that was a first and a unique moment, and we managed to do this without, uh, without any downtime. Back in 2012, uh, Switzerland was leading the, the world in terms of uh, privacy laws, uh, uh, in treating uh, um, corporations the same way the uh, citizens were treated. Uh, and in that respect, uh, location was uh, quite important. We were um, in Switzerland, which had a solid and strong uh, reputation for data privacy. It still has. And data privacy has now also contaminated, I would say, in the good way, whole, whole of Europe. So we stand out for those values of protecting our users, protecting the data, while uh, keeping up our promise and scaling uh, the business. What makes Exoscale so special, I think, is the proximity. We are partner on eye level, from pre-sale to post-sale, with competent people involved through the entire journey. So customers also feel we are super rapid and agile in our approach. And especially customers in industries like healthcare, finance, public sectors, look more and more towards offerings like Exoscale, because only as a European cloud provider, who do not fall under the US Cloud Act, you can guarantee full compliance with European legislation like GDPR. The new ownership really helped with additional investment to bring Exoscale out of Switzerland into new regions. Today we've got a strong network of cloud zones. Uh, in the Dach region and in the CE region, we have um, zones in Zurich, in Geneva, in Frankfurt, Munich, Vienna. We are just building the second zone in Vienna right now, plus we have a zone in Sofia. This investment uh, helped greatly to get Exoscale where it is today. First and foremost, being a purely uh, European player, we're the only ones in our field who can boast this color. We're also very attentive to uh, the coherency of our product uh, and simplicity, which is one of our core values, uh, is still present all across the, the product line and uh, resonates uh, a, a lot with customers. We want to be in a position where Exoscale can be the partner hosting data without having access to this data. If you look at the sheer number of storage boxes and servers out there on the planet that will end up in the cloud at some point in time, the potential is huge. Not just for us, but also for the planet, because we want to reduce the carbon footprint. And um, as it looks right now, cloud data centers and whatever the industry, the cloud industry is doing to keep the carbon footprint as low as possible is um, a great way basically to contribute to ESG targets. The potential the cloud industry has is, is still massive. I mean, we, in 10 years, we've enabled IT projects to go from multi-year to a monthly timescale. There's still a great way to, a great leap forward for, for the IT revolution market to go. We still can go from months to hours. And then if you think about autonomous systems and systems that can self-scale uh, up and down, I mean, this can be a real time. So there's a future 
10 years, 20 years of uh, innovation and, and new products to, to un unfold. Our clear mission is we want to become one of the top tier two players worldwide. The biggest challenge for Exoscale, but for the cloud industry in general, is how do we turn this business from having the tr full trust of our customers to um, still be in a position where tomorrow we will need their trust, but not infinite trust. Building a confidential cloud for Europe for our uh, data privacy-minded customers.